Hi, I'm Jeff from Better Living Outdoors, and today we're going to run through setting economy cycles on your gecko control system. So, if your tub's got a gecko panel on it, you can basically set economy windows up on your hot tub. Why might you want to do that? Well, electric costs are rising at a quite significant rate at the moment, so the less time you can have your hot tub trying to heat, the cheaper it's going to be for you to run. What this is going to mean is you do need to think about your bathing times a little bit more closely but once you've done that you can then set economy windows on the hot tub so it's only going to allow it to heat up before you want to use the hot tub and that should improve your running costs this can be done through the control panel which i'm going to show you shortly but gecko also do have an optional wi-fi module that you can add to the tub the app is very, very good, and it gives you uh, a similar amount of control as you've got through this K1000 panel. But if you have got a more basic spa, say with a K300 and a K500 panel, it's a little bit easier to navigate through that versus uh, trying to do it through the screen. So let's show you the principles on this particular spa. So if I go into the settings area first, we're then gonna go into water care. So Gecko give you some predetermined uh, water care setups. Most tubs will come in standard mode, but as you'll see underneath, we've got energy saver. And if we're gonna select it, it'll ask us to confirm. We've then got super energy, which again, if you want to swap to it, it'll ask us to confirm, et cetera, et cetera. You can see there's weekend and other things like that. We'll go back into standard first. Now, what you'll note on the right-hand side, there's a little pencil and that allows you to edit the menu. So if I just tap on that pencil, you'll see that we've got on the right-hand side, the filter cycle option, which is currently highlighted in orange, on the left-hand side, the economy window. So just talking about the filters at, at, at the moment, you can see this tub's gonna filter every day at 7 a.m. for an hour and every day at 7 p.m. for an hour. So fairly standard filtering. Most customers are gonna be running that on their tub. If I go to economy, now at the moment, there is not any economy cycle set. So what that means with this tub is it will always be sampling for heat and if it needs to heat, it will do so. If you put an economy window in, if we hit on add, we can tell this hot tub, for sake of argument, every day between midnight and, well, let's assume that we're afternoon hot tub users or evening hot tub users. So between midnight and three o'clock, let's go with that, it's gonna be in an economy window. So what that's gonna mean is this hot tub is not gonna heat between midnight and three o'clock in the afternoon. Once three o'clock in the afternoon comes round, it will drop out of economy mode. First thing the tub will do is sample for heat. It will say, oh, I've cooled down to, let's say 36 degrees, and I want to be at 39, and it will start its heat up process. Same rules apply to heating then. Once it gets to its set point, and these tubs with three kilowatt heaters, heated about two degrees an hour. Once it gets to its set point, the heater will turn off, but it will just maintain at that temperature. Basically, the tub will then continue to maintain its temperature until it gets to midnight, and then at midnight, it's gonna drop into economy mode and it will stop heating. So logically, we would add to this economy window another everyday cycle, and most people get out their tub, let's say nine o'clock at night for the sake of argument. So we're gonna say at 9 p.m., if we scroll through here, da, 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 we'll get there eventually, guys. Uh, at 9 p.m., the economy window is going to sock again. I'm going to go the other way with the other menu. Oops, so daisies. There we go. So let's go the other way with this one. Uh, so if we say it's at 12 a.m. like that and confirm, that's going to set the, the next economy window. So now what essentially this tub is going to do is it's going to be heating between 3 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. every day. Apart from that, it's in economy mode, it's not going to heat at all. Now, if you're using your tub daily, that's probably a good setup for you, but say that you're not, then instead you could be adding an economy window on day specifics or weekends. You've got lots and lots of choices in here, but essentially what you need to do is think about your bathing habits, when you're gonna bathe and then set your uh, economy windows to not heat the spa outside of that. General rule of thumb is say, three kilowatt heaters, two degrees an hour. So that's what you need to think about for your reheat time. If it's a plug and play tub, two kilowatt heater, you're looking at about a degree and a half an hour. So as long as you factor in enough time for that, that should be fine. 
The other thing to consider with economy windows is if you have solar panels, you're gonna be getting your freer electric during the daytime hours. So again, that's a good time to be allowing your spa to heat. Similarly, when in the uh, nighttime, you don't want it to be heating. If you're on economy seven, where you get your cheaper electric at night, then maybe you wanna set it to heat at night. And it might be that you suggest it heats to a higher temperature. So that little bit of loss you get when the tub's uh, not in use, doesn't affect your bathing heat when you're using the spa. Hope that makes sense. Uh, any questions, obviously you can give us a, a call at Better Living Outdoors. I'm Jeff, thanks for watching.